Um, as a CPD assessor, what I'd like to do is run through some of the issues that we have found through assessing uh, your profiles that may be helpful for this process. Um, just referring then to the list of activities, um, sometimes what we find is that the CPD activities are not dated on the list. And I think for ease of read, but also for ease of you putting your profile together, it's really important that you date them because we are looking for that two year period. And it's going to be really helpful, not just for us, but for you yourself to be able to set it out and, uh, and to list that. Um, another issue that we find that has come to light is the non-inclusion of the record of CPD activities that's undertaken in the past two years. That's absolutely critical that you do that. It's part of the profile and it's very important that that's included in that way. We can equally, um, there's a very ease of read, both for ourselves but for you to put that record together. Just moving on then to the next section about personal statement. It's very important that you focus on the me and the I as opposed to the us or the are. Um, and the reason for that it is it's your CPD profile, it's your, it's your work and it's really important that you actually um, note that whenever you are documenting your activity. So it's my profile and the work is my work. Um, so make sure you refer to that in the first person as opposed to us or our and that's really important and helpful for us as well. It also demonstrates your own ownership of the work as well through your activities and meeting those standards. In some cases there's been an issue around the differentiation between a work activity and a CPD activity it was a little confused or unclear and again that's really up to you to be able to, uh, to set that out as clearly and as concisely as possible and to be able to differentiate between that. And from my own experience as a CPD assessor, the, the better ones, so to speak, are very clear, they're concise, they're well dated, and they're very clear in terms of reading across how the evidence meets the standards and, and the supporting evidence is, is submitted within that. So um, just, be, just remember that uh, clear, concise, and the information is, be, is very clearly documented in order to support the standards. An important and very critical point to note is, as practitioners, the need to ensure confidentiality, and that's absolutely critical. Um, and it's really important that you redact things within the, the information, the evidence that you've actually uh, submitted to us for assessment. Just to move on then, in terms of the evidence, um, some people send us a wealth of information and on occasions it's difficult for us to actually to find the relevant information and the relevant evidence. We know it's there somewhere but it's actually much easier if you can set that out and you can clearly document that within the profile that's been set there for you. Um, and again a very practical point but an important point in terms of the flow of information and for ease of read and for ease for you to put it together. Please make sure that the, that the pages are actually numbered. Uh, it makes it much easier for, for us to assess, but also for you. And if we want to find information or evidence or go back to you for a particular point, we can reference the page. And lastly, and I think very importantly so, it's not about the quantity of the information that you send, it's actually about the quality. And that's really important and critical that you know that, that we want to see, see very clear and concise quality evidence to support your CPD profile to meet the standards as opposed to a wealth of information.